Last November, Athens Christian School hosted its first GHSA playoff game on this field. They didn't get the win they were hoping for. The Eagles fell 35-26 to Mount Pisgah and ended the season still searching for their first playoff win since joining the GHSA in 2000. This is the year they hope that changes, but to get there, to make the postseason and a run, they'll have to find contributors to fill seven vacant positions on offense and defense. I think it, it got our kids excited from the standpoint of experiencing that. Uh, most of our kids now are understanding that that's not a given. Uh, it takes work. So I think for us, it's just a standpoint of it was nice to get that opportunity. Uh, they are hungry for more, but they understand it's a new year. And uh, within our region, within uh, all levels, they understand it's not a given, and it's just got to be a day-in, day-out process where we work for it. And better, better. Good. Ready. Go right. Green A. Green A to go. Good. Pop, flip, throw. Yeah. In there. Hey, was it beautiful? No. Is it on the money? I like it. Okay. Bring that ball in, Josh. Go, baby. It's hard to single out any of the seniors, Williams says, but there is a sort of core four returning in athlete Richard Jubinor, who lists Alabama, Auburn, and Florida among his collegiate options, running back linebacker Chip Williams, offensive tackle and defensive end Addison Brown, and guard Cody Davis. The younger guys are working to earn a place, though. It's helped push them. So after Cam, they all realized what, what they're into, and they all picked up the challenge. Uh, they all got, they all, they've all gotten stronger in the weight room. Their maxes are high. They've all gotten faster. Their mindset has already been tuned in the right way, you know, and they're all hyped about it, and that's, the, that's what brings me joy. You know, I know I walk out a lot, and I know, but when I see these guys getting hyped, you know, in practice, with those stuff, you see them get so hyped, you see them getting so pumped up in the weight room, they're walking out, even they're walking up to the way the seniors and be like, man, Rich, I'm tired, you know, sometimes I'll be in the weight room, I'm so tired, and you see a young girl walk up to me and be like, Richard, come on, let's keep going, you know, <laughs> that keeps me motivated, and I, it, it just makes me feel more strength in me to, you know, see a young girl doing that, so I'll be like, hey, you know, I'm really hyped, those little things really count a lot, and which means they really got my back, and we all got each other's back, so we're like a big family right now. So <laughs> The schedule is tough. They open with one out-of-region game. September looks like this. Visits from defending region champion Prince Avenue Christian, then Athens Academy. A week off, then a trip to Commerce. The month ends with a visit from Lakeview, and much of October is spent on the road before a two-game homestand to end the regular season. September is the first test, but get through that, then it's just about the finish. We've been there five, four or five years in a row, but we just haven't been to finish. This year, it's more about finishing, getting, get, being able to finish our season, and working hard. That's one of the things they tell you all the time. You know, you walk up to you and be like, "Hey, bro, you gotta keep pushing." And the first reply they tell you is, "Yes, we gotta get to the next round." And we're very hyped up. You know, we don't know where we're gonna end. We don't know how it's gonna be, but we're going into the season with a positive mindset, with a, with a heart that we've been. Hey, we've been working hard, and we can't stop right now. We're gonna take every game one by one, and we are highly motivated by it.